Lorenzo Loyola Marymount tonight's starting lineup brought to you by Numerica Credit Union and for the Lions look to Shelton and we pointed him out in the open but also Kelly Leia Pepe this guy is it'll be Rick Esanza and Drew Timmy for the tip off number six Gonzaga 16 and 3 on the year 5 and 0 oh in the West Coast Conference for the seventh year in a row they've won their opening five and we are underway Greg Heister Dan Dickow Richard Fox Zags going for 76 consecutive wins at home and 11 and their 12th actually win in a row on the season and already our first whistle and a foul the officials tonight Vern Harris Rick Batzel and Sean Lehigh There's Timmy. Who's still over 21 points a game. 10th best scorer in the country. Anton Watson. What a player he was against BYU. Anton backing down against Leia Pepe. Left it short. Back of the Lions. You're not going to back down Leia Pepe. You've got to find a way to get around him. <laughs> He's just too strong. I don't think television does him justice either. Those are some shoulders. <laughs> like those things are like a canoe paddle. <laughs> 12 on the shot clock. And there's a foul. Vern Harris says Julian. That's foul number one. <laughs> Alea Pepe. He has spent some time in the weight room. <laughs> you're gonna try you're gonna challenge him to an arm wrestling contest no, <laughs> not a chance <laughs> Shelton but a whistle away from the ball that's on Leia Pepe his first and he looks at Vern Harris with a a look of dismay and he's been sporting the mullet ever since we've known him I, I, I'm not sure it's sporting I think that's just part of who he is but I guess he took a challenge from some of his friends back in Australia. Here's Strother down the lane, going for the jam. Shot was blocked in there by Lamage Lewis, but the foul is called. Right away, Strother on the attack. I want to see more of that from Julian Strother. Great recognition on the screen. Defender gets caught behind. Curl and attack the rim. I know he's put together a tremendous year, averaging nearly 14 a game. But there are still some things that you can improve on that being one of them. Well, and I, I think for Julian, you can look across this backcourt. It's just about consistency when it's when it's clicking, you know, it's at a really high level. And he's had a good start to conference play, you know, averaging 16 a game in league, shooting 40% from three. But it's just night in, night out. You know, what's going to, how's he going to produce on the offensive side of the ball? And that shot that he connected to beat BYU with nine seconds to play over the moving screen by Drew Timmy was something <laughs> special. <laughs> I like how you put it out there, moving screen. <laughs> and from the corner, the three drops. Do not be surprised by that. Number 34 can shoot the rock. He really can. All the year, 46% from three. And it's just an interesting matchup for Gonzaga to have a... You know, defensively, you've got a true four for LMU that can stretch you out on the three-point line. Oh, he'll stretch you out. Julian back out to Nolan Hickman. Timmy out there to set the screen. Drew turned down the jumper. He's trying to step through, and he cuts that end line, so the turnover... That's number one for Gonzaga, and it goes to Loyola Marymount. Good job from the Sansa to stay down. We've seen defenders time and time again fall for an up fake, uh, giving Timmy an angle. Coach Stan Johnson said Sansa, with his emergence this year, has really changed their defense. They can play single coverage on the low block now. There's a turnover. Young got caught in between a dribble and just threw it to the other end. So that is turnover number two for the Lions. And I guess there was a 10 second call on that. Yes, there was, says Richard Fox. In the middle of a big yawn. <laughs> That's fantastic. Here's Hickman. Little runner. That's long. 
Timmy trying to run it down, but Shelton grabs it for the Lions on offense. Lewis out to Arns. Switch there on the ball. Cam needs help. Arns. Strother was there to defend the shot. Eight on the shot clock. Hickman stepped in front of the pass. Right to the glass and scores. Nolan Hickman. Big time finish from Hickman. He understands Shelton can't pick up a foul early in the game in a situation like that. Attack the chest. Shelton has to get out of the way. And a drive. Missed it. Strother clears it. Sags with numbers. Three on two. Raj turns down the three. Runner off the glass. What a touch. That's pretty. A great finish high up over the top. You don't see a lot of teams doing this with LMU did. On a made basket of GU. They pushed it up the floor themselves. Leia Pepe, a nice back cut finish. Yeah, he's got all five for Loyola Marymount. We're tied at five. And Strother pins another foul on LMU. Oh, you see just things bogged down for LMU offensively. Leads to the turnover. Shelton does a good job just getting out of the way. You're not going to slow that down. Don't pick up a cheap foul. But that's the solid defensive approach if you're GU. Don't gamble defensively. Force LMU to play deeper in the clock. You're going to have those opportunities to turn them over late in those possessions. Chance Stevens, number three on the floor, replacing Lamage Lewis, who has two. There's an air ball from Julian. Lions basketball. Gonzaga has got to locate Chance Stevens coming off of a game. He hit five threes in the road win against USD. Also hit seven in a game earlier this year against Wake Forest. <laughs> well, I think you know what he does. 90% of yes. the shots come from three. Shelton looks to the bench. He played from the sideline. Graham setting the screen, then roll. Shelton the drive. Timmy there to stop it. Shelton tried to go inside to Graham, but Michael unable to catch it. Deflection out of bounds. And from my vantage point, it looked as if it was deflected. Should have been LMU ball. Gonzaga, I think, got away with one there. Depends on your perspective. <laughs> Here we go. But Gonzaga's going to have to continue to do a good job guarding pick and rolls. Cam Shelton is going to be in that action throughout the night. Give me the catch. Defensive there. Jump hook up. Good defense by number 21, Michael Graham. Cam Shelton down the lane, left hand off the glass and goes. Cam, his first field goal. It's only 6-2, but he's strong, able to absorb that contact and find the glass. Good finish inside. Nolan. Left it for Drew. Drew down the lane, lost the grip. And that's off of Lea Pepe. I believe it'll be Gonzaga basketball when we come back. 15.32 to go. Got guys, the Zags get beat on the glass. Yeah, look, LMU's turned it over four times, or they might be up uh, you know, more than just two. And for Gonzaga, just I think it's a little bit more, a little bit more methodical offensively, and Drew's just gotten off to a slow start here. Demi trying to bounce it to Raj Bolton. Well, that's a continuity pick and roll. Ball gets moved side to side. That first big, or excuse me, wing on that side will back cut. Occasionally, they will throw it so that as the game progresses, that defender is loosened. That's already 16 fouls on Loyola Marymount. We're not even five minutes into the game. Timmy's three. Short. Watson up for the rebound, but he appeared to be over the back. I'll tell you what, LMU has been extremely active defensively. Both in man that time on the baseline out of bounds. They went zone. And we saw it at shoot around today. Gonzaga did prepare for some 2 3, a little bit of 1 3 1 as well. Juan Marble, number 11 on the floor. Look, I think all of these West Coast Conference teams, even though Gonzaga's 1 11 in a row, they all know the Zags have been on the ropes a few times in league play. They all think they have a chance to take down the mighty Zags. Rebound, outlet, Bolton, and the lay in, Ron Bolton. What a pass. That was on the money. You use all these football analogies, Greg. That was... Yeah, that was Bradshaw to perfect. Swan. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Play a 
They can go pick it to pick it to do it. Malachi Smith with it. Bolton, he'll try the three. Malachi with the offensive rebound. Zags me do. Here's Drew Timmy. He's got Shelton on him. The skip. Deflection by Graham, but right to Watson. And Anton dumps it through. Well, that's the right decision from Graham to go double team. Just unfortunate for the Lions. Ball ends up in Watson's hands. Juan Marble. Senior from Denver, Colorado. Richard has an affinity for him. One of the best players in Colorado, Greg. He's got it now. Let's see what this guy can do. Anton Watson. Bolton, corner three from Nolan Hickman. Bingo! Hurry. Ben Gregg on the floor for the Zags. And number zero, Jalen Anderson. And no show floor for LMU. Richard, no Shelton here for LMU. Where's the offense going to come from? Anderson averages just shy at 10 points a game. He's got the ball. He's got the lane. Runner. Boy, the C's opened up for Anderson. He took advantage. He's a good player. A season ago, really battled injuries. Sprained an ankle, missed a lot of time, but high hopes for him. Count the bucket. <laughs> Sansa. I don't care. It was goaltender. That's pretty impressive as we see Anderson here come off that screen and roll. Timmy tries to anticipate him using the ball screen. He cuts it off, and there you see Sansa's ability, his length. He's been, to your point, Dan, earlier, he's been a big, had a real impact defensively for LMU. With a guy like that, you don't have to double as frequently, and he cleans up a lot of mistakes at the rim. Hunter Salas on the floor picks up the foul for the reach. That play by Sansa a moment ago. This is a seven foot one, 240 pound redshirt junior from the Congo. Has not seen his family in 13 years. They've never seen him play basketball. Speaks a bunch of languages. There's Arms. Got an open shot. Leah Pepe. Skip Anderson's free on the way. Bang! Wow. Pass from Ella Pepe there. Finds Anderson wide open, and Anderson can do that. Knock down the three-point shot. Well, they're coming off a game where they knocked down 14 against USD. Malachi Smith in the lane. Hot hand continues. Same set that they ran for Julian Strother earlier. You go shoulder to hip off that screen. Defender gets hung up. You just turn it into a curl. Oh, that's off his foot. Stevens lost it. Turnover number seven for Loyola Marymount. Tell you what, every time I get to call a game that involves the Lions, it takes me back to the great Dan Dickhouse game on the road down there in Los Angeles. How many threes at half? Eight? Nine. Nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it right, Craig. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, on, on this day in history, in fact, I've been told. And Timmy. Count the bucket. Interference was called, but do you remember that well, Dano? I do remember it well. We yeah, lost the night too. before to Pepperdine. Uh, and then we played back-to-back -back nights in the WCC used to be typical on the road. We came out ready to play. We took one shot in the second half. Looking back, I wish I would have been a little, little bit selfish in that second half, but we had the win in hand. Here's Hickman. Ben Gregg with his first rebound. Nolan has it poked away. Leia Pepe picks it up. Hand off the shelf. Arms transition three. But turned it down. Jalen Anderson. Here's Leia Pepe. Hunter Salas out under him. How about that matchup? Leia Pepe and Salas. 12 on the shot clock. And Shelton will reset it. Ben Gregg out on the ball. And the drive. Skip to the corner. Leia Pepe. Another skip. Shelton easy. Off the front of the rim. Rebound. Drew Timmy. The lob. Ben Gregg to catch. And Leia Pepe in one eye, but missed the shot. Sansa cleared the miss. Shelton the drive. The runner goes over Drew Timmy. He is constantly in attack mode.
Shelton now with four points. He's two and four. And a nice bucket inside. Good composure there from Salas. Gathers himself and shoots it over the top. Coming off a game at BYU where he knocked down a huge shot from the corner. There's a catch, no shot. Foul called on Malachi Smith. Now the Zags 9 of 16 to begin. LMU now 6 of 10. Rebounds starting to even out, but the Lions with seven turnovers, six fouls. We're not even 10 minutes in. Arms, 15 feet. That rattles home. Even though he knocked that down, that's some good recognition. Arms, much like Stevens, wants to find open space behind that three point line. Run him off the line, make him make a more difficult shot. Raj Bolton tried to lob it inside. Michael Graham saw it coming the whole way. Cam Shelton. Got Santon Watson. That's a, a great matchup here. Strother moved Watson off. Turns to the post. Graham and Gray. A lot of contact. Left hand jump hook. Good shot. Good wow. Good shot inside there from Graham. Not much of a score. Anything they get from him. When you throw it to him on a low block as a bonus, typically a transition finisher and offensive rebound guy. Love his length though. He's so active on this end too. There's Bolton. Jump shot good. Roger Bolton with eight points. Zags up by four. Good recognition though. If LMU is going to play center field soft uh, on the pick and roll, you got to be ready to come off and score. Aiden Mahaney, freshman from St. Mary's, did that against LMU last Thursday at 25. Anderson off on that shot. Julian Strother, the second rebound. Bounce into the corner. Watson ran it down. Zags have hit seven of their last eight shots. They lead by four. Hunter Salas. Bounce. Ben Gregg. Through contact. Chance for three. Gentlemen, talk about the rise of Ben Gregg this year. Well, look, it's it doesn't just happen overnight. You know, I think he's built up to this confidence level. But sometimes you just need an opportunity. Early in the year, Epton, we got a lot of those looks off the bench, and he just took advantage, particularly when Gonzaga went to that tournament in Portland. And he's been good in conference play. In five games, eight points, four rebounds off the bench, shooting better than 50% from the field. That's what you want from your backup. Ben Gregg gets a breather. Drew Timmy back on the floor. Shelton with four points. He's two of four, but he's got two rebounds, two assists. He averages over two steals a game as well. Timmy poked it away. Eight on the shot clock. Shelton drives. Foul on Bolton. And free throws coming. And Cameron Shelton. And we've seen this now three or four times. Gonzaga's guards for this. LMU would run so much, so many of those high pick and rolls. They're trying to anticipate the screen coming. And Shelton's so good at just fainting that way, crossing over, and then he creates a lane to the rim. He's hurt Gonzaga doing it. Well, the other thing LMU's doing is the bigs are flipping the angle on the screen right at the last second. So if the big is not communicating to the guard, you can get mixed up pretty easily. Shelton with 28 points in their last game against San Diego. He was 9 of 9 from the free throw line. 1 of 2 on that trip. Saw that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> Did that on purpose, I think. <laughs> You're going to get a letter from the LMU booster any second. Just trying to help. Hunter Salas tipped out of there. And Loyola Marymount down by six with the basketball. Lewis back on the floor with two fouls. Timmy ripped at the ball. Boy, I think that was Anton Watson who got his hand caught in the net on the way by. Skin youngsters to see another culture. And nothing new for Rick Asanza. This is a, a guy that grew up in the Congo, but can speak four different languages. Lingala, 
Chaluba. That's pretty impressive. I, I have a hard time with. I have yes, a hard time do. with English. Yes, you do. Yeah, I didn't want to say it there, but yeah, <laughs> I know yeah. that's what I love about my guys. They got my back. <laughs> Well, it reminds me a lot of Roni Turioff. Yeah, he was, right. came in as a freshman. He yeah. spoke five languages. Uh, you know, it was actually great to see him here a month or so it ago. Was. He surprised out of the blue. people. Out of the blue. Nobody <laughs> knew he was coming into town, and yeah. then afterwards, Roni pops up. Seemed like the same old Roni. Yes. Just the same old Roni. Uh, you know, that's the beauty of this life. More things that change more things that stay the same. And Rony Turioff seems like the yes. same guy. <laughs> All right, back to the game. Julian Strother at the free throw line. 75% shooter on the season. And that rebound by Lewis. Well, and you, if they can take care of the basketball, they can make this interesting going into the half. They're shooting over 60% from the field. But they've had eight turnovers. Oh, they've, they've been better. Four turnovers, first four and a half minutes, only four cents. As I say that, Sheldon turns it over. Yeah, they're ninth. They also have eight fouls in this first half. Timmy inside. And a travel. And, that, and that's the effect of Azanza right there. He's just so long. He's got decent feet. And he's doing a good job tonight of not really going for the pump fake. The shoulder fake. Just stand grounded. Staying tall, and it's causing Drew some problems here. Early. Zags now with four turnovers, but LMU with just two points off those turnovers. And the Lions without a field goal in the last two minutes, 35 seconds. Seven minutes to play, first half. And Shelton on the move. Stevens into the corner. Turn around, too hard off the glass for Masanza. Nolan Hickman had a steam head up. Bounce to Watson, but slipping to the floor was Anton and Lamage Lewis. And I believe it's a foul on Lamage Lewis. And that's his third. So he's got to go right back out of the game, and Lea Pepe checks in. I don't know if it's the mullet, if it's those shoulders, it's the fact that he can shoot the He's three. He's your favorite. Like, he is a blast. <laughs> He's a blast to watch play basketball, isn't he? It's hard to believe growing up in Australia. Aussie rules football, rugby. <laughs> and nobody he picked him up. chose basketball. <laughs> and he also wears number 34 because of his favorite player. And... Well, no, not Richard oh, Fox. I was, <laughs> was going to say, I didn't know. That yeah, I didn't know. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so not yeah, me. No, okay. no, so he, who's his favorite player? Uh, it's not me? Yeah, Charles Barkley. Okay. But close. I mean, I could easily see that. confused. I could yeah. see that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. There's Leia Pepe. And Anton Watson. There's some muscle going at it. Good defense. Timmy had it. That's off of Leia Pepe. No, it isn't. It's off of Drew Timmy. Who is it? Where is it going? Off Drew, I believe, here. Yes. Stan Lyons ball. Shelton will put the ball in play. Stevens. Raj Bolton defending. Raj off to a fast start, eight points. And the drive on. Strother shot was missed by Marble. It's a great look for Marble. We got to knock that one down. Drew falling away. Long rebound grabbed by Stevens. Right now, Asanza defending that rim and that paint area for the Lions. Leia Pepe's three is off. He's one of two for the game. Drives Bolton and Scott. There's a crafty defensive play there. Well, they have done a terrific job, the Lions have, of getting back after that spurt where Gonzaga had seven points in a little over a minute. They have taken away all transition opportunities since that stretch. Raj smarting after that collision. He's to the bench. Malachi Smith back in. Raj here with two personal fouls. Four of five from the floor, eight points. Shelton bounces. This is Anderson. 
at Timmy. Turn around. In and out. Watson had it. That's off of Anton, or had a chance at it. Off of Watson. Last time LMU scored a field goal, clock said 9.55. They've gotten some good looks at the rim from the three-point line, just unable to knock them down. Justin Arns with it. Shelton two of four. There's Graham. On Drew Timmy, jump hook. Off the glass, count it. Graham's not shy, went right at the All-American. The Zags now without a field goal in nearly four minutes. Drew Timmy with the left hand. Well, and Drew, clear. Drew wants to go middle. Shelton just almost just faints to double, forces him to that baseline side, and, and Graham's tall enough to go with the shot. Is <laughs> Jeez. It is a wrecking ball. And a turnover by Timmy Shelton with it. Aligns with numbers. Arms. Three on the way. Graham runs the floor. Offensive rebound. Put back. It's good. Timeout. 420 to go in this first half. That's for a game in the 90s. It's been a little more of a slugfest. Yeah, it's been thought. LMU's been super physical defensively. I think their rotations generally have been on point. And they've made life difficult for Drew inside. And then on the, on the flip side here, Gonzaga's competed as well. And I think part of it is just LMU has, been, has struggled to score. They, they, when you go through those droughts with, with Gonzaga, it, it just makes your life that much harder. It's, LMU has got a little press here, a little trap in defense. There's Malachi. Gonzaga well, worked on this in practice today. They talked about getting into your teammates' vision and making sure the angle... Is somewhere where you can receive a pass. Malachi, quick three, that's off. Lea Pepe, the rebound. Got two in the game. Zags now 0 for their last four. It's been three minutes since they scored. Jalen Anderson. Zags up by four. LMU just two turnovers. Their last 16 possessions have done a better job taking care of the ball, but a lot of trouble here from Shelton. And now Anderson didn't get it off in time. Or did he? I guess he did, they say. Here's Hickman. Afton Reed on the floor, number 15. Anton Watson for three. That's long. And Graham the rebound, and he's fouled by Reed. I love the minutes Graham has given LMU. He's got six points. You see what he's doing on the glass now. Three rebounds. Just his activity level. And despite the fact he's a bit undersized at just 225 against the larger Reed, he just does a good job maintaining that inside position. He pushed the catch out. Reed caught it near the third hash mark on the post up. He took his activity and length. And then Assange's length as well. Gonzaga's interior hasn't been able to get going in any way, shape, or form. Nolan Hickman. Who that is. <laughs> Almost a line drive rim rattler. But you like the patience. A lot of times guards will be sped up when their drive is complete, meaning they're going to throw a quick pass or throw up a runner or some sort. That time he turned a drive basically into a post-up, took a jump hook on his turns. Seven points, two rebounds, three assists for Nolan Hickman. Anderson, 10 on the shot clock. Leia Pepe, backdoor cut. Well, Barkley might be his favorite player, but he doesn't have the bounce that Sir Charles had because that back cut would have been a near-broken backboard for Barkley. I know you would have done it. <laughs> uh, that's a negative, sir. <laughs> sir. Uh, Strawford. Such respect. Malachi. Picked up by Strawford. Nine on the shot clock. Under two to go first half. Julian somehow got inside but missed the shot. Slapped around. Graham down on the floor. In some pain for the Lions. And there's the whistle and the timeout by Vern Harris. Graham's 
gets poked in the face, but what an effort on that on, on that possession from LMU. Just good closeouts, good help when needed. You know, just, she, just everybody's hands are up. Shelton stays home on Smith and keeps him in front. Zaga trying to play one on one here and does not have a lot of success. And there's Graham coming over with that length to bother Strother's layup. Chance to trim from four. Shelf spins. The Suns are back on the floor for the Lions. And Shelton, boy, he's crafty in there. He's got seven. Hickman on the other end. And there's Shelton, that patience you talked about, Dan. Malachi. Gonzaga's doing a little bit too much one on one. It works out there with a bucket to Smith. But the ball's not popping and moving, changing directions. Yeah, you've, got five, it has you, you've got four guys watching one play. Not moving. Shelt. That's short. Runs down a long rebound. And he's fouled by Anton Watson. Shelton Watson must have bumped him over there. We couldn't tell from this. Well, I think Shelton got a bit of a bump, but sold it at the end there. That's a smart play. So is it selling it or is it a flop? Like, is there a difference? Well, there's contact that may have been a foul on its own, but you just make sure the official sees the contact and sell the fact. It's called craftiness, not a flop. Well, that's, that's my problem the with, the, with the flop rule is that contact, you sell the contact and they call it a yeah. flop. Right. Yeah, I, I think you're generally seeing that the Shelton misses a free throw. You, you see that generally on those on the guys trying to take a charge. Yeah. yeah I think those are easier to, to, to discern. But Hickman. Nolan. Watching that little eight-footer in the lane tonight. You got to get up quick, Dan. Yeah, but if LMU's bigs are going to be soft on the turn of pick and roll, it gives the guard free head of steam at the rim. Shelton got loose, went right to the backboard. Shelton now with nine points. And there's about two seconds differential between the two clocks, and Hickman's going to drain it. Jalen Anderson out of Jackson, Tennessee, out guarding the basketball. Hickman with nine points on four or five shoot shooting. Timmy sets the screen. Drew, that's well short. And that's the end of the first half. Oh, actually, 2.4 left. They called a shot clock violation. Timmy shot, never touched the clock. He's now one of six. It's that length of the Sanza on that short roll. He's got to be worried about where he's coming from. Here's the heave. The Sanza, the catch, got it to Arn. Shot on the way. It'll go, and it'll count. We'll take another look, but it looked good from this vantage point. Oh, that's a crafty first half. Typically, he puts so much foul pressure that he at least gets to the line a time or two. As a team that Zag shot six free throws in that first half, the Lions with just four. So neither team really getting to the line. Let's see what plays out in the second half. Here's Leia Pepe. Eight on the shot clock. Lewis inside. He's fouled. He'll shoot free throws. Knocked to the floor by Strother. And Julian just picked up, I believe, is that three on Julian? Nope, that's two. I'm sorry. Just ahead of myself. Well, you got to keep the ball out of the paint. On that closeout, Strother opened up and allowed him a straight line drive to the middle. Lamaz Lewis, 6'6", 200-pounder. He's a 33.3% free throw shooter. Averages about three points a game. Yeah, not, not a huge contributor, but coming off a nice game against San Diego. 21 minutes, six points, and five assists. So you know, he's good with the ball, makes smart plays. And we are tied at 33. Okay. LMU's doing this without a starter. Alex Balatze is out with injury tonight. He's another three-point threat. Someone who can also create a problem on the board. Asanza with the block. And now LMU can take the lead. This game's been tied four times. 
Zags have led for 15 minutes in that first half. Better than 15 minutes. Here's Shelton. Timmy there to help. Shot up, no good. Strother threw it away. And Shelton took it. Leia Pepe, free throw line jumper. Lions in front, 35-33. Lea Pepe with nine. Well, Shelton does a good job after initially getting beat of just bodying up Bolton, makes that floater more difficult. Asanza comes over, and there you see Ella Pepe just smooth. A little pump fake gets you in the air, and just one dribble in. Dan, you know all about that, right? Just smooth. Sansa a little pull up. Sansa looked like the Kembe Mutombo on that block. Kept it in play. Hickman corner three on the way. Lea Pepe with the rebound. Shelton and now the Lions can go up by a couple of possessions. It's a 16-6 run since 5.05 left in the first half. And every second that goes by, you got to figure the Lions are garnering more confidence. Shelton lost it off his foot right to Bolton. Turnover number 10. And those are the turnovers that just drive you crazy. You know, Watson's there, but that's just a careless handle there from Shelton. Drew back to Hickman. Good two-man offense, and now Strother. The three. All around great possession. Hickman could have forced it. Both the shot and the dump down to Timmy. Ends up getting it all the way swung back around to Strava. Lewis. Good defense by Julian. This is Arnold. 12 on the clock. Plenty of time. Shelton looks to the bench. They'll go with Nolan. Step back three. Bang! Cameron Shelton. He's got 12. Lions back in front, 38-36. Julian. To two, obviously. That's kicked out of play by Asanza, so it'll be Gonzaga basketball. Shelton just kind of gets into that rhythm dribble. And knocks it over the top of Hickman. If he starts knocking that down, I mean, he's effectively impossible to guard. He's so strong going to the rim. If he gets that three-point shot going, it's really difficult. Hickman. Great cut. Anton Watson. With six. Tied at 38. Shelton into the lane. Got all the way in. And scores. Well, because LMU had shooters on the weak side... Gonzaga's perimeter defenders had to stay attached, stay home. Good recognition and finish from Shelton. Good Timmy. Foul call. Foul called on Chance Stevens, the freshman from Riverside. Stevens, the only freshman on this team for the scholarship for Loyola Marymount. That's the way of college basketball. Experience is so valued. Bolton. Watson, what a rebound. And he's fouled inside. He beat three red jerseys for that ball. Foul called on Justin Arnold. The transfer from Ohio State. Played the NCAA tournament three times. Good. Kicked out, Bolton gets around Shelton. You see that inside position on Arns. Arns trying to hold him down. You can't hold Anton Watson down, Richard. <laughs> Timmy, through trying to go to work now. That's just crafty. Yeah, he understands Graham is active with his hands. He's going to be over zealous to come up with a block shot. And Drew forced, created that contact, got his hands twisted up in there, gets himself to the line. You, you have to exaggerate defensively with your hands being up in yeah. the air. I mean, if they come down at all, Drew's going to find them and force the official to blow the whistle. Drew's first free throw of the game falls off the rim. I like exaggeration myself. 
You're it's good a, at it. It's an art form. And you it's, are the best. It is an art form. <laughs> Boy, it's quiet. One or two for two ten. Dan, you probably didn't care, but whenever I was on the line, it got quiet like that. I started thinking about all kinds of random things, including missing the free throw. Yeah. It's like on the golf course when you got a four foot birdie putt, your mind's racing over everything. You've never had a four foot birdie putt. Who are you kidding? <laughs> no, a three foot birdie putt. Oh, it's a three foot birdie Four foot birdie, birdie putt. That's a gimme, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you just get that? Depends on who you're playing against and with. Shelton to block by Timmy. Drew's got it. He'll lead the break. Head up. Here's Hickman. Bolton. Shelton got back. Bolton was about ready to launch. It's good recovery, though, from LMU. Raj will launch. Graham on the floor. Now the ball's loose. Shelton trying to give it up. Taken by Strother. And there's a whistle. What a sequence. These dudes are starting. Well, think about this. It's like it's just plus two in the paint. It's not normal. Well, that's because Drew Timmy only has three. No, I get that. Yeah. But it's just, it shows you, there's, I think, what they're doing defensively, but also the fact that LMU's found a way to be effective inside the arc. Julian now two of four from the line, and we're again tied at 40. Game's been tied six times. Julian connects on both. That's our eighth lead change now. Not a lot, but we'll see how things progress. This is number 11, Juan Marble. And now Jalen Anderson. The drive on Drew. Bounce, lay a Pepe. Runner too hard. Timmy beat him to the rebound. Raj Bolton. Timmy the catch. Short. Pass was a little bit too far under the rim, I think. Zags up by one. Shelton now 6 of 11 in the game. 14 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Anderson. Bolton there. Shot up, count it. Foul call. Oh, good defense from Gonzaga just late there though Bolton breaks down Anderson knocks down the kind of mini ju jump hook He's been a nice lift off the bench seven points is Anderson three of six from the field Just a little bit too much body Sliding underneath Anderson as he goes up Raj Bolton now with three personal fouls. That's two on Gonzaga this half And Jalen Anderson at the line a 60% free throw shooter and the three-point play is in the books. Spark off the bench tonight, just as he was in the win against San Diego. And 14 points, perfect four of four beyond the three-point line, and that's not where his strength lies. His strength is use his speed, get downhill, get to the paint, create problems. Rick Asanza back on the floor for LMU number 22. Seven foot one, he's been a problem. Salas walked through the double team, scored over the top. Nice bucket. That's good ball movement. Weak side from Salas to get open there. Here's Asanza. He and Timmy. Big pump. Found Shelton on the cut. Foul on Hickman. And Shelton with a chance for three. Asanza, the big guy, dropping a dive. A nice pass. Same thing on the other end. Salas moving without the basketball against his own. That time, Shelton cuts when Hickman loses sight of him. A bullet pass from Hassan's well, a see, great catch. You see Hickman Shelton. there just ball watching. Yeah. He loses complete track of where Shelton is. And credit to Hassan's at delivering that ball just on time. And LMU now up by six. Their largest lead this side of halftime. Uh, LMU shooting 63% here in the second half. There's Strother's three. In and out. Hassan's clears the miss. Zags now 2 of 10 for the game from downtown. And Shelton again going to the rim. He was stripped by Salas. That's off of Zag. And now the officials come together. And they say it's off of LMU. 
You see Salas' ability, ability is length. Again, tries to, anticipates the ball screen. Shelton's just too good. Sees that he's leaning one way, but with that length, Salas able to get back into the play, cause the turnover. Things are heating up in Spokane. Leon Watson, Scrapper wanting the ball. He's got it right at the Sanza. The block. Let Pepe cleared it. Shelton. Anderson. Met at the rim, scored anyway through Anton Watson. And what a finish. A little flex from Anderson afterwards. I think he should flex that's after a, that. That's a, <laughs> that's a real finish right there, my goodness. Hickman. There's Hunter Salas. Through Timmy. Against the Sanza. Scoop. Drew will shoot free throw. I like the decision for Gonzaga to get to that continuity ball screen, get that ball moving side to side quickly and try to find Timmy in a post. Get another look at this fast break attack and finish from Anderson. What you want to do, attack the shot blocker's body. This end, you know, for Drew, that's one of the few times tonight he's just been quick on his decision. And when you're playing against a guy with the length of Asanza, it's hard to shoot over a guy like that. But if you're quick, Try to get around him, get his shoulder into him. And right there, you saw that dude foul. Before that free throw, it was an 8-2 to two run. For LMU giving them their largest lead of the entire game at 5. Drew Timmy now with 4 points. He's 2-3 of three from the line. Short on the second. Graham, the rebound. Michael, big minutes in that first half. He's in there for Asanza. Shelton goes to work. Lea Pepe. Poked away by Watson. Anderson. Graham out to set the screen. Anderson has some room banged in the Salas. No shot. Literally that foul before it. And foul called on Hunter Salas. That's number two on Hunter. Strong drive. Salas just not quite over enough to absorb that contact in his chest. 14 fouls on the Zags this half. Graham the catch, hand off to Shelton. 15 on the shot clock. This is Anderson. Anderson's been key off the bench. The junior from Jackson, Tennessee. That's a two. Loose. Strother had it, Shelton with it, but a foul called on Leia Pepe. Kelly doesn't agree. Looks because he hit that big shot to break the hearts of the BYU Cougars. 24 feet over Drew Timmy. And that one rattles out. Cam Shelton with it. Lions up by four with the ball. Leia Pepe backing in against Salas. Skip to the corner. Out to Anderson. Open three. Bang! Jalen Anderson. Well, Leia Pepe reads it, but credit Lewis for making the extra pass up yeah. to Anderson. It's a seven-point lead for the Lions, their largest of the game. Hickman. There's Hunter Salas, Ben Gregg. And Graham battling 10 on the shot clock. Anton against Lea Pepe. Anton, jump hook, blocked by Graham. Shelton with it for the Lions. Here's Lewis, turns down the three, but traveled. Turnover number 13. And Stan Johnson did nothing but put his head in his hands after that travel. Long way to go. Sansa, to me, is the big one for LMU to have three. He is given Drew Timmy some problems tonight with his length. Well, not just that, but his weak side defense coming over a couple blocks. Yeah. What like he said in the first half is we got a turnover here. Anderson picks it up. Lays it in at the other end. But right through the hands of Nolan Hickman. That's just, that's his very simple basketball play, a handoff. Gonzaga turns it over there. That's their eighth of the game, seventh of the game. Hickman trying to earn it back and does. Hunter to Malika. There's Drew. Asanza. Drew squares on him. 
Six on the shot clock. Three. Skip to the corner. Salas. Three ball. Hunter Salas from downtown. That was based on Drew Timmy recognizing Hunter Salas' defender was sitting in his lap, holding the cutout. He becomes the recipient of a wide open corner three. And that gets the crowd back into it. Lewis, the catch. Trying to get around Malachi. Got away with a hook. Clearly a hook. And a reset. Eight on the shot clock. Shelton. To the corner. Lewis, three on the way. That's long. Rebound up and good. He is so tough on the offensive glass. Leia Pepe with two more. And there's a foul call on Asanza. And that's number four on him. sanza has got to be smarter than that. Yeah, you're taught as a big to meet your opponent early in transition, especially when they're so good at rim running and sealing like Drew Timmy. But you can't get called for that one. Those are the, mo those are the plays as a staff that drive you crazy. Your big guy fouling 30 feet away from, from the rim. Or in that situation, you're in transition. Timmy's not getting the ball in that spot. You don't need to be quite that physical. Now with five points, three of five from the line. Seven-point game. Got a hold. Asanza on the bench with four fouls, but that's the good news if you're a Zag fan. The bad news, they count on with Michael Graham. He may not be as good, but man, he's been good. Number 21. Here's Anderson. Again, the three. That's off. Hunter Salas. The rebound. Zags down by six. Timmy wanting the ball. He's got it. Jump hook over. Graham! Here comes Drew Timmy. It's where he catches the ball. Both feet in the paint. And Graham's just not big enough, strong enough to really bother that hook. Sitting at 5-0 and oh as well. They're number eight in the net, which there are five WCC teams in the top 100 of the net, which is great for the league, but they're only getting votes in the top 25. To me, that's ridiculous. They should be a top 25 team right now. I thought they broke through. Aren't they 24 now? And the coaches pull they broke through. Well, we go by the AP, Mr. Eisner. Well, who's we? You and your horse you rode in here on. Arms is three is off. Timmy clears the miss. What the graphics are on the broadcast. <laughs> Just kidding. Man, you know that. Hey, guys. The Lions with three players in double figures. The Zags without any. Nobody in double digits right now for Gonzaga. Here's Hickman. That won't go. Lea Pepe clears the miss. Four-point game. Graham left it short, got it back, and he's fouled by Hunter Salas, who appeared just to be trying to catch the ball. The foul on Salas, that's his third. Well, those are one of the ones that you just wish that the opponent would make the first one. And now you, unfortunately, you get compounded by becoming a foul as well. well. That pass from Shelton, that's high level, and I just love the effort from Graham. And Asanza, and I think he's done a really nice job of keep rotating them. Obviously, some foul trouble has dictated here late, but generally speaking, they've kept both those guys fresh. Graham, a 50% free throw shooter on the season, 0 of 2 tonight. A question for Loyal Marymount tonight, and head coach Stan Johnson can his team finish? 1 of 2 for Graham. Five-point advantage for Loyola Marymount. Julian Strother, arms right there. Timmy sets the screen. Bounce to Drew. Drew spins. Spins again. Left hand. Free throws coming. Foul on Graham. And that'll be number two on Michael Graham. Drew Timmy drew no fouls in the first half. He's pinned five in the second half. It's come to life. Putting pressure on the defense. And earning trips to the line. In the meantime, they put Rick Asanza on the bench. 
A seven foot one rim defender. This to make it a three point game. And to get Drew Timmy to 10, well short. Big break. Offensive rebound for him with the block. It remains four. Shelton. Ben Gregg there to contest, but Shelton scored anyway. And that's, and that's just one on one defense. Shelton just throw, freezes Strother and just a hard rip through baseline. Strother opens up, and there's no shot blocking back there for Gonzaga. Jimmy reeled it in, lost it out of play. They give it to Loyola Marambreda. Any single defensive effort I've seen in a Zag uniform. Well, he's done that on a few different occasions this year yeah, where he's had to. really big time stops at crucial moments. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins defensive player of the year, even though he doesn't lead the league in blocks or shots. He just impacts it in so many ways. Cameron Shelton, 15 on the shot clock. Malachi Smith on the floor with the Zags, or for the Zags. Hunter Salas and Bolton each with three personal fouls on the bench. Shelton against Timmy. Drives, got in, blocked by Drew. Out of play, two seconds on the shot clock. It'll be Lions basketball. You know the Zags will not panic. This team has been through so much this year. The cardiac kids of Gonzaga. Will they tear out another heart tonight? That's the question. 7.13 to go, down by six. Graham inside. Flush got it off just in time, or did he? That's going to be awfully close. Vern Harris says, hold up. I'm going to go check this. It's going to be really close. This will be the second. So it remains six points. 58-52. Nolan Hickman with the basketball. Rod Bolton back on the floor. there defensively. Raj on the move. Malachi. Drew wanting it. He's got it. Goes at Graham. Jump hook. Good! Drew Timmy with 11. And LMU's not sending a double. You know, and Hassan says with his length and size is more problematic than Graham as active as he is. Just doesn't have the strength to slow Timmy down. Brian Pepe picked up his dribble. Cameron Shelton with 19 points. He's 8 of 14. 8 rebounds, 2 assists with the ball. Seven on the shot clock. He's gonna shoot it over Malachi Smith. And he connects from downtown. What a bucket. Shelton with 22. You got trail news. I think about helping here. Timmy dives inside foul on Graham. Drew will go to the line. He's five of eight in the game. Here's Shelton. Just we've seen him do this now three or four times. Just kind of rock the defense to sleep. You put your arms down, and you need to have one arm up because so you can better contest that jump shot. And you just see the improvement from behind the three-point line from him from last year. He's the only player in the West Coast Conference with 18 plus points on average and four plus assists. This is one of the very fine players in the league. He also averages over two steals a game. He'll climb up under you. Well, he reworked his jump shot over the course of the summer. But Stan Johnson said he's playing. He's always been a player who's been in attack. He understands a little bit better how to control when to go, when to maybe pull it back just a little bit. So he's playing at a much better pace. Six-point advantage for LMU. Under six to play. Shelton with the basketball again. Graham sets the screen. Cameron. He'll go with Hickman. A lot of time. He's patient. Spins. Trying to get Hickman in the air. Step through. Missed it. Cleared by Malachi. You want to have that one back if you're Shelton. Here's Anton Watson. Ross Bolton. They'll shoot free throws. Went right at Lea Pepe. Great recognition from Rajir Bolton. It looked like 
Timmy was trying to seal, and then Bolton recognized, noticed the defense was on the top side, and it almost became almost a step-up pick-and-roll there. Sags led by one at the half. LMU outscoring them by six here in the second half, and it leaves us with their five-point advantage. The Sags is a team six of 18 in this second half, 33%. Bolton hits them both. Back to a four-point LMU lead. Shelton with the basketball. Cue the fans. Leia Pepe. Been fairly quiet. 11 points to the game. He's got the ball. Here's Shelton again. It's down to 10. Grant sets the screen. Timmy there to help. Mono Imano Shelton. He'll drive on Smith. Spin. Shot away. Won't go. Loose. Graham runs it down. Another chance for the Lions. Here's Anderson. Into the corner. Lewis. Wide open. And it's off. Bolton with the basketball. He's got Hickman. Stutter step. Blocked by Anderson. What a defensive play by Jalen Anderson. <laughs> wow. Julian Strother up off the bench for Gonzaga. He'll be checking in. Shelton, 10 on the back block again. LMU draining the clock down. They want to shorten this game, limit possession. Let's see if that's a smart way to play. Shelton the drive over. Timmy missed it. Loose ball grab with it again. Timmy and Smith each had a hand on it. This is all what This is everything LMU's going to do here. Either just milk it. Keep it in Shelton's hands or a high pick and roll. And LMU has a 10 rebound advantage. Here's a deep three. Off by Shelton Graham again got inside and a foul is called. The Zags give up another offensive rebound free. Shelton. That graphic a moment ago indicated the last time Loyola Marymount beat Gonzaga back in 2010. The last time they won in Spokane was 1991. And Graham fortunate there. Yeah, the big free throws from Graham, 50% from the free throw line as Azanza gets back in the game after sitting with those four fouls. So life will get a little more difficult for Drew Timmy with Asanza on the floor. Here's Hickman. Screen is set. Bounce through against Asanza. Jump hook goes. Well, there's one thing about Drew Timmy is he likes a challenge. And he steps up in big moments. Nice play on that short roll. Yeah, easy, easy play there, but he gets into Asanza's body, which doesn't allow Asanza to get off the floor and bother that shot. Zags within four, and now the weave. Anderson. He'll attack. Into the lane, almost gave it up. Eight on the shot clock. Back to Shelton. Under three to go in Spokane. Sags up, down by four. Shelton's three. It's good. Cam Shelton hits another one. He's got 25. They are taking it all the way down. Last four or five possessions, he's been shot with one on the shot clock. It's done. Rebound through Timmy. Malachi Smith the tip. I was just going to say, Greg, what a play from Smith. Timmy with 14 in the second half after that putback. Here on Zaga. You got to get the ball out of Shelton's hands. Leo Pepe back to Shelton. 10 on the shot clock. Can't Again. let him get it back there in that situation. Sansa out to set the screen. Shelton deep, but he can shoot it. He's going to step back. There it is. Air ball. Gonzaga ball. Down by five. 2.05 to go. But LMU so shortening this game right now. Exactly right. I mean, they didn't get a bucket there, but they took 30 seconds off the clock. Gonzaga doesn't have to be in a huge hurry, but you've got to be careful not to run it down too much. There's a screen by Timmy Hickman. Open three. Back. Nolan Hickman from downtown. Timeout on the floor. Sags 
to within two. If Gonzaga, if Shelton gives it up, deny him the ball back. Don't let him get it. Zags have won 75 consecutive games on this floor. LMU has not won it in Spokane since 1991. Leia Pepe handoff to Arms. And now Anderson trying to get it to Shelton. He's got it. The drive on Malachi Smith. Great Smith. Great to get it out of there. Anton Watson. He'll flush it. Tied at 66. Timeout Lions. Twenty-five points on the night. Seven turnovers, though, now. I understand what Loyola Marymount was doing by trying to limit possessions, but you also create a passive mindset. If you're not being aggressive, only Cam Shelton was aggressive at yeah, the end of all the shot. You, you certainly, you've got one guy with the ball and everybody else kind of watching, but yeah, I understand wanting to limit the possessions here late for LMU. Anderson's in trouble. Is that five? Timeout. Timeout called by the Lions bench. That was really close to a five second. It's on the shot clock. Lea Pepe will be inbounding it. Here's Shelton. Got 25 points. Six on the shot clock. Got to get by Malachi Smith. Here's the shot. Blocked by Timmy, grabbed by Strother. Under a minute to go, Gonzaga basketball. Tied at 66. You got to go early enough, in my estimation, with the way the shot clock and game clock are. Here's Drew Timmy. Against the Suns, a shot up. It falls off, but Drew will shoot free throws. And that is it for Rick Asanzo. His fifth personal foul will send him to the bench. Good managing of the clock from Nolan Hickman as the point guard. Get into that high pick and roll where you're going to short roll pocket pass to Timmy. You get the foul called with 43 seconds. So now you should have an extra possession. Two offensive rebounds per game as it is. Timmy, 6 of 10 from the free throw line tonight. Came in a 61% shooter. Long on the first. Telling you, you've got to box out here. If he misses it, you need to secure the rebound. Short, but roll is good. Zags up by one. No timeouts here for LMU either. It's go time for the Lions. Shelton wanting help. Here comes Graham. Down to 20 on the shot clock. Cameron Shelton. He's got Drew Timmy in front of him. He's down to 10 on the shot clock. Shelton. He's going to shoot it. Five. He'll drive on Timmy. Got in. Off the glass, and it goes. What a bucket for Shelton. 14.7 to go. Strother in a timeout called. Mark Few. Loyola Marymount up by one. 68. Six. Will this be their 12th victory in a row on the season? 11.1 seconds to go. Nolan Hickman with the basketball. Shelton there defensively. I think on the set the screen. Big screen. Drew Timmy down the lane. Shot up. Blocked by Graham. He's got it. They run it down in the corner. Strother's three is short. And LMU's come on the road and defeated Gonzaga for the